a moment ago you say that you ordered Carl Munger to tell his men that the economy should be touched. That's right. And Mr. Munger was clear on what you want. Crystal. Any chance that Mr. Munger ignored the order? Ignore the order? Any chance he forgot about it? No. Any chance that Mr. Minger left your office and was like, that old economist was wrong? No. When Mr. Minger spoke to the department and ordered him to intervene in the economy, any chance did they ignore him? You ever went to Austria, Mr. Keynes? No, sir. Ever witnessed the invisible hand? No, sir. Ever put your life in another man within the market and asked him to put his life within yours? We trust the process, mister. We trust the process where the economy collapse. It's that simple. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Are we clear? Crystal, Mr. Hayek, I have just one more question before I call Adam Smith and David Ricardo. If you give in the order that the economy should be intervened, and your order are always followed, then why would the economy under the threat of a collapse? Why would it be necessary to furthermore increase the spending? The economy is a social structure. The spending was increased because- That's not what you said. You said the spending was increased because the economy was under the threat of a total collapse. That's correct. You said collapsing, I said total collapse. You Recall said, what I said. I could have the court reporter to read to- I know what I said. I don't have to have it read it back to me like I'm a goddamn idiot. Then what did to order, mister? Sometimes economists take economic affairs in their own hand. No, mister. You made it clear just a second ago that your economists wouldn't take economic affairs on their own or else the economy will collapse. So the economy shouldn't be under the threat of any collapse at all. Is it, mister? You snotty little interventionist. Your Honor, I want to ask for a recess. I would like an answer to the question, Judge Plato. The court will wait for an answer. If Mr. Minger gave an order that the economy should be touched and intervene at the first place, then why do you need to later on increase the spending? Mister? Mr. Minger left the matter to the visible hand, didn't he? Because that's what you told him to do. Object! And when the things gone bad, you cut your economists loose! No, you no. phone messes, signed Asking the phony spending order! You undoctored the no, interest honor. rate! Damn you it, cost Kings. the bank! Now may I ask you, Mr. Hayek, did you order to not intervene? You don't have to answer that question. I will answer the question. You want to answer? I think I'm entitled. You want to answer? I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Mister, we live with an economy that always changes, and those changes are unpredictable. Who can possibly predict and interfere with it? You? You? David Hume? I have a greater responsibility than you can possibly faith in. You weep for the economy and you curse the laissez faire. You have that luxury. You have the luxury from not knowing what I know. That the economy is collapsing while tragic probably lays the foundation for greater growth. And my existence, while grotesque and incomprehensible to you, helps the economy. You don't want the truth because deep down in places, you don't talk about it at the stock exchange center. You want me to predict the unpredictable. You want me to interfere with the economy. We use the word like liberty, autonomy, freedom. We use these words as the backbone of a life spent defending something. You use them as a punchline. I have neither the time nor the inclination to explain myself to a man who rises and sleep under the blanket of a perfect economy that I provide and then question the manner in which I provide it. I would rather you to say thank you and went on on your way. Otherwise, I suggest you to trust in the invisible hand and let it go. Either way, I don't give a damn on what you think you're entitled to. Did you order to not intervene? I did. Did you say order to not intervene? You're goddamn right, I did.